Hi, welcome. This is another video in the Calamaris series, but it's going to be a technical one. So it's not for everybody. It's for people who actually want to know more about Calamaris, how it works, etc. So our knowledge is coming from a website, right? If you want to start your own um, distro or packaging, or if you want to learn, just want to learn about Calamaris. I just type in GitHub, GitHub Calamaris. Okay, forget it. So getting my SFT keyboard in, much better. So we're still on a live uh, ISO, by the way. Um, so Calamaris, that's why I need to change. That was wrong. Uh, that's the official repo. Okay. So this is where you need to be. Learn, read. Uh, there are wikis and the releases, uh, lots of information. It's it's the place to be, right? So here the development is done. Here you can report your issues if you have uh, problems, if you want to change things, uh, feature requests, uh, stuff like that. It's all here. Now I'm gonna stay on Arch Linux in this video. Where are, is Calamaris? Well, Calamaris is installed. So we can use our graphical user interface here that's going to say Pamac oh, what am I doing Calamaris so what is how do we use Calamaris there's two things um, that's the way we use it anyway two things there's Calamaris the installer right that's the application that's going to be built and there are the configuration files and the fun in this is that you can actually make a configuration file for Arch Linux, one for D, one for B, one for Arch Linux B, XFC, Arch Linux B, Qtile, Arch Linux B, etc. Okay, so that's why it's it's divided because well we have so many desktops. If you just have an ISO with just one desktop, no need. Okay, so there are there's the application and there is the configuration. Okay, this results, well, actually, Eric, you could have stayed in here because if nobody tells you this video is not around, you can actually open it up, files, and see, okay, so this provides me with a user pin, so that's the application, and this is the folder where the applications are, user bin, and there are some libraries, so stuff that it, it needs, uh, so it's bookshelves, huh? it's libraries, he wants to know something, it's there. And Arch Linux Calamaris, now you see where it is. It is in a folder, etc Calamaris, and it's all in there. Except just one little license here and here. That's not important, it's just etc Calamaris, that's it. So basically we figured it out by looking at it. But of course, I know it this time out of my heart here. And here is Calamaris. And here is our branding. So here are stuff that we need. Our settings configurations is here. So what kind of modules do you like to, to run? The view modules and the run modules. This is the things you show. So view and this is the ones you execute. So these are all modules. And these guys are executed one by one. One after. So the, the as you say, the consequence, the, the the order, that's it, the order is important. Each one after the other, it's going to run. And in the end, you're finished with all kinds of elements in here, which we'll not go into. Just an overview where it is. And there are some modules. So if you wanna say um, to the modules, let's let's show the modules. This is the time to go to file system, to where are you, user, lib, Calamaris, here you are, here are the modules. So a module corresponds with a configuration file, right? So a welcome will have a welcome here and users will have a users there. So if you open it up, um, you see this is the module. It's an SO thing. We can't open it, but it's um, the module that's going to analyze or use whatever it's in here whatever you decide to put in here is going to be uh, executed by the modules okay so that's the modules and then is of course you want to have your own 
look, right? And every distro has its own look. That's normal. So the branding description, you know the tip from other videos, always use pearl, super thin. This is what matters. Everything that's white is, that matters. And all the rest is rubbish. It's just explanations, that's for you. So if you're renaming your, if you have a name in mind, that's the name you should change, right? So images and uh, some coloring and all that. So that's okay. So branding description. And we have an Arch Linux folder where everything is in here, a little logo, some images, branding description again, and some languages that are in here. That's new since 19.07. So yes, um, this Calamaris evolves all the time. So we need to um, follow it up and start Calamaris in debugging, debugging mode from the terminal. Then it will show you messages. Hey, you did not, you do not have languages. That's the last thing we've added languages. SAS the sheets is, is maybe two months old that they have the possibility to actually style your calamaris with CSS. So that's great as well. So a lot of things change and the, it's a good thing that the configuration is apart from the application. So the application can stay. And the only thing I have to do is update the package. But it's not, in my case, not the only thing I need to do because we have 13 desktops. So scripting comes in handy, in handy. So you can say, execute this to 13 GitHubs, then push everything, then build everything, then update everything, then sync everything. It's a lot of uh, actions that dominoes that need to fall afterwards. But it's, it's all doable, right? So um, I think that's pretty much it for an overview. Um, maybe one thing more, there's the user lib and there's also user share. And in the user share calamaris, there is also a um, place to, to actually say things. But it's this one is going to overrule. So the one in ETC is going to overrule the one that's available here. Otherwise, my branding would be the default branding. So this is just more an, an example than anything else. So a few examples for people to get started. Okay, so that's let's say that's more or less it. Okay, um, that's a little bit well to get you started if you want to venture your way into using Calamaris as your installer, then that's a good start. All right, cheers.